any type of drink. Wait. Now I'm ready. <clears throat> what's up youtube fam welcome back to the channel today we have another makeup look i was feeling like a bit not on top of things if you will and so i just sat down and i looked at my makeup and i was like i don't feel like doing something experimental today i just i just i just wanted to do something that i was comfortable in so this is my go-to soft glam makeup that i do when i'm just like i don't know what to do and i want to feel pretty tonight this is it. So what do you think? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> Before we get into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nats. I want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true but also fun approach to beauty. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, please subscribe. It's for free. Also go follow me on Instagram and Twitter because you can um, post a lot of fun stuff there too. I, oh, I never know how to motivate you to go follow me on other platforms because I feel like I'm lying. I'm like, it's fun, but it's, is it though? No. Anyways, let's get in to the tutorial. Okay, so you know how like, um, <laughs> usually I have a plan. Well, that's not the case today. What I usually do for videos is I, I'm like, okay, what look am I doing? And then I pick all the products out and then I place them like an order in the order i'm going to use them i'm usually a very organized person but today this ain't her so this is what it looks like i basically just took all the makeup that i own and i just was like what are we doing today and that's how i figured it out also this is my little filming station if anybody ever wonders i sit by the mirror to get um, daylight. We're gonna start with brows. We're gonna start with brows. I'm gonna do the brows that I always do. Let's not get too creative today because it's one of those days if I get too creative it's not gonna end up good. So I have been feeling very uninspired. Don't know what to do. I have like a thousand pins saved on Pinterest and I still can't get inspired enough to do like a, some fun makeup or skincare. If you'd like, you can always help out in the comment section, tell me what you want to see. By the way, did you guys know that YouTube now has that story feature that Instagram also has? Meaning I upload to stories quite often and tip about other accounts and other videos that I watch and that I enjoy. Did you guys see that? Because whenever I look, it doesn't look like there's a whole bunch of like views. Wow, I did that brow really fast and it turned out really good. I don't, what? So do you guys watch the stories or do you not? So you know how I said in my last video that I was like, really, I just use the same makeup. I never change it up because that's what a normal person does. I don't have a bunch of makeup. Well, I'm getting kind of tired of it. <laughs> And here's the reason. I think it's, I, you know, I'm, I think I would feel more inspired if I got some new makeup. And now that I look at this makeup laying on my floor, I'm like, wow, you're really a spoiled bitch. Because that's quite enough to create a lot of different looks. I'm going to prime with the It Cosmetics by Band Dry. I've been priming with this lately and I really like the way my eyeshadow turns out. By the way, so we got a little um courtyard outsider the building is basically surrounding it and um on the ground is a parking lot and also like little terraces that belong to the apartments on the entry level and we got some new neighbors that installed one of those like um like inflatable tubs jacuzzis whatever you want to call it they also got a really cute little corgi that I think it's a puppy because it um, barks all the time. And by the way, I've never been like a huge fan of small dogs, but corgis, like they're, they're so cute. The like corgi butts, it's like, it's so cute. Anyways, they have the jacuzzi and like, I think it was like last weekend or something, they were having like a party with a bunch of people and we were just at home 
watching a movie nothing special and then i think it was like around 12 30 or something at night and my husband was going to just close the window and he was you know gonna see if all the people were, were still there on the terrace downstairs and basically the couple that lived there were the only ones left and they were having sexy time in the jacuzzi huh? and i'm like <laughs> I'm all for people being free and doing whatever the f they want. I, we didn't hear them, they didn't make any noise, it's just that we saw them. Um, but like, this is what it looks like. So basically you're surrounded by apartments and down there you can't see the jacuzzi because it's all the way in. You see it? I don't think you can see it. Anyways, really, like that's, that's where you choose to have sex. Like, literally everyone, maybe maybe they're the kind of people who like that i don't know you never know i mean that's fine as usual i'm gonna use my very used <laughs> anastasia modern renaissance palette i'm gonna go in between raw sienna and burnt orange trying to figure out how we can get out of the city once again but i don't we were talking about going upstate again and you know we might want to do that then we were like well you know, maybe we should try to see if there's anywhere else you could go in New York, like around the state, you know, maybe go to like, um, somewhere near the, oh, hey, what up? Like somewhere close to the ocean or like anywhere, maybe south of the city. You don't drink. Babe. Uh. You don't drink. You don't drink. So what? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> or like, I don't know, anywhere south of the city or maybe like west, go see Philly. I don't know. I don't know. Or something. I just want to go somewhere outside the city. It could be by the ocean. It could be on the countryside. It could be in the woods. Does anybody have a suggestion on where you could go in New York for a couple of days? Like we will obviously rent a car. Um, Hear the corgi. Please let me know if you have a suggestion. Let's do the other eye. Um, damn. I think that like in Europe, we were so used to being able to travel every summer. Uh, even though we might have not like traveled far, we could go to like um, south of Sweden, or like we could just catch a flight to Spain or whatever. And obviously. Corona happening, we can't really go anywhere far, but we'd love to go somewhere we could travel by car, you know? Can you hear that ice getting mixed? That's my drink being prepared. Muchas gracias. <laughs> this is a Moscow mule, and if you don't know what that is, that is vodka, ginger beer, lime ice these are like copper glasses they stay cold so they can very easily keep you cool so i'm gonna actually go in to realgar which is this brick red i'm just going to take very little of that and place it right here I think I've mentioned this before, but like one of my favorite things about living here in the city is that you can access anything real quick. Deliveries are really quick. Like anytime you want something real quick, you can get it. So one of the things that <laughs> is not legal in Sweden is alcohol delivery to your doorstep. Literally, I, and I'm not, this is not a lie. This is completely true. My husband placed the order of like, I don't know, it was like three bottles of liquor or something. It took 12 minutes. It took 12 minutes from the moment that he placed the order for it to arrive on our doorstep. It's the future, ladies and gentlemen, it's the future. I just, I don't know how to else explain it. It's the future that I want to live in. I'm just going to grab like any brush and then grabbing that very light bonish color and I'm just doing this to kind of carve it out a bit and that's enough 
with stir glitter i want to use a pink glitter because we got a little bit of like reddish brownish thing going on and i have this palette from other stories they have a makeup line and i got sent this in pr like a long time ago super pretty palette and i'm just gonna use that pink color and i'm just gonna apply it to my lids with my finger and see what happens oh okay that was very a lot more pigmented than i thought that it was gonna be oh i like this yes i have this glitter from pixie this is a liquid glitter um i'm just gonna try to see what happens if i put some of this right here kind of just make that even more glittery right here so it becomes like a little halo-ish effect with the glitter i'm gonna do <clears throat> one last step with the eyeshadow and i'm gonna go into that dark brown color called cypress umber and i'm gonna grab the tiniest amount just on the tip of that brush tap it off and i just want to deepen it out a little bit right out there and then just doing the same here oh by the way so i know how i said that like <laughs> i've had the same damn hairstyle for like about 311 years um but next week i might have an appointment to do my hair so i do not know where i stopped filming that sucks because i was just telling a very funny story or i mean if you ask me it was funny so whatever i missed i'm gonna recap now but i was saying that i think i have a hair appointment booked next week i just need to get it confirmed um and if i do I will be cutting my hair for the first time in a year, which is, you know, <laughs> man, I can't wait, but I have two options. Either I keep it long, just trim it and do a balayage. So continue on what I've got going on right now or cut it off. And I try to do my hair the way it is naturally cur curled, which I have never tried. So that could be a journey. Just don't know if I'm ready, but will I ever be? Because cutting it off and doing the curls, it's like, it's the mature, it's like the adult decision. And I'm just not an adult, even though I am 28, almost 29 years old, you know? It's just, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm a kid. I was annoyed by the fact that my brows turned out so perfect today when I barely even tried to get them perfect. And when I tried to get them perfect, they turned out shit. And so now I know the secret formula. But anyways, I was saying the only person I trust with my brows is <laughs> Brow Felicia. If you can get an appointment with her in Stockholm, get it. It's basically impossible because she's so, so, so booked because she's so fucking good at what she does. She's also my friend, but she is, she was known for her brows <laughs> before we were friends. And I was telling the story, I was spilling some tea, which seems to be the only thing that I do on this channel anymore, <laughs> that I had a very famous brow stylist up my brows. Well, if you ask her, she didn't think she them up, but she really did. She really did. I will be mixing a product I haven't been using for a very long time, but I think that I might do it. There it is. So. You know how I love the NYX uh, Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil, but I was thinking, I haven't used the uh, Cosmetics CC Cream, the il Illumination version for a long time. I love this product, but the shade in particular is too gray for me. It's in light, so it, it's basically gray on me. And this one is very orangey, so I'm thinking, <laughs> look at me being a chemist and all, that I can mix the two and make the perfect formula. On top is the a cosmetic CC cream, which is very great. And then at the bottom, you can see the next one. So she is the founder of a brand that is very big in the US, I think, but like in anywhere else in the world, <laughs> they're not that big. But anyways, I was at an event for a beauty store in Sweden that was like, they're, they were reopening one of their flagship stores. And this woman who 
uh, is the founder of a brow gal, the brand brow gal. She was there because she was selling our products there and she had this brow bar and she was styling everybody's brows all night long. I was watching people leaving. They looked amazing. And I was like, how bad can it get? How bad? Like, well, I left with half of the amount of eyebrow I had when I got there. And I'm gonna try to find photo evidence, but I think I'm pretty sure I got so traumatized that I probably deleted most of it. And I had the worst three months where I had to fill in my brows so much every morning, <laughs> took so much time out of my life. Uh, but yeah, they grew out. So that's good news. Make the make. Ceramide Elastic Concealer and N4 to just slightly color correct like that And then it cosmetics CC cream. No, sorry it cosmetics bye bye under eye To like highlight a little bit or like to make it blend in with the foundation for bronzer i'm gonna switch it up a little bit today am i or am i not i can't i haven't decided what am i doing i wanted to switch it up make it a little bit funny for you but make the make vitamin c compact bronzer in sb1 bringing some color back to this face i love using a fan brush for bronzer because especially a huge one like this because it's so effortless, you can so easily just like blend it into your hairline and it looks bomb. For blush, I am, oh, a drink. I forgot about it. And then I remembered it and it made me all happy again. I have this Make the Make Caprique palette in Berry that I really, really like, but I use way too seldom. I don't know why. It's, I find with like, face palettes because this is a powder blush highlighter I find that I very rarely gravitate towards them because I just pick the blushes and the highlighters that I have in my makeup bag and this is this lays with all my palettes so I forget about it all the time but it's a very very nice uh high pigmented high quality palette it's kind of like a dupe of the uh, hourglass ones I haven't tried those so I can't compare them but I imagine the hourglass ones being kind of like this. They also have a peach version of this that is very pretty. And I'm just gonna grab their, I think this is their blush brush. I really, yes, sheer blush brush. I really like this type of blush brush that you can just very easily swipe the product on with it. Um, anyways, I'm actually going, gonna go in with a highlighter color. This one is too dark for me to use as a highlighter, um, but I'm imagining that it will look very nice as a blush color with this eye. It's gonna be a very monochromatic one. So just grabbing some of that and then very lightly sweeping it on. And as since this is a highlighter, this is gonna give us some like all over cheek glow. And I'm bringing that actually quite high up. I've been like overdoing it with the blush lately and I just need to learn <laughs> how to not overdo it. It's been finding it very difficult with, with, with that task in particular. I'm grabbing my Isadora Dewy Nude Stick um, as my highlighter and I'm placing it in exactly the same places I always do. Some right on the forehead because I like that glow right there. So I have a new fave. This is the where are ya? This is the Milani lip liner in 09, 09 Spice. And I'm just gonna lip lip my line with this. I was <laughs> I'm just gonna line my lip. Does anybody else do that? Like where they kind of twist around the words. So instead of saying, I'm just gonna line my lips, I say, I'm just gonna lip my lines. Or is it just my brain that is screwed? I'm gonna have to shut up now. If I manage to.
just going with my finger and I blend it downward towards the lip. This is this is cake from Glossier. It's this um, warm tone nude, almost a little bit. Dare I say orangey? Uh, see that? So that there it is. I know, it's barely visible, but there it is on the bottom lip. And I'm gonna go in with the gloss as usual. I'm gonna do the um, Makeup Revolution lip gloss and knockout. And I just do a little bit right on my bottom lip like this. And then I do this. I don't want gloss all over my lips. That was it for this look, what do you think? Let me give it a little bit of a close up. So. This would be a makeup tutorial that I would be very comfortable in if I wanted to do like a light glam, a soft glam. Um, and I didn't want to overdo it, but I wanted it to feel pretty. This is what I would do. Okay, I'm gonna keep the outro short. Sorry for this messy video. Sometimes shit like this happens. Sometimes I don't have the energy to be all like inspired, efficient, prepared, on top of shit, you know? Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one.